wanted to talk about stigmas around lifting weights. Uh, some of you may know I'm, I'm a pretty spiritual person. Pretty much my entire life is guided by intuition, heart. I meditate often. I tap in often. <laughs> like, my whole life is spiritual. And it's really interesting. This might be controversial a little bit, but... I have another friend, he's wired the same way as me, and we've had a lot of conversations about this. And it's really, it's this fascinating mindset that I get from spiritual, spiritual people. <laughs> We're all spiritual, but the spiritual communities. Um, I just came from an ecstatic dance. <laughs> and this guy, this is what triggered it. This guy was like, oh, hey, you got a lot of muscles. You know, he's, he's like, do you compete? And I was like, no. No, I, I don't do that stuff. And he's like, oh, fitness then, yeah. And like, it was just kind of this, I was like, y yes. But I kind of get this, um, I don't know how to put it into words. I kind of, there is a stigma around lifting weights. I find it often from spiritual people. <laughs> uh, and it's like this idea that lifting weights is somehow like the only reason you would do that is because you want to look a certain way. That you're kind of like lost in the ego. You're lost in this like um, ego driven vanity thing. And I get it because many people are. But I don't see it like that at all. <laughs> that is not. And it's funny to me to kind of get this little bit of judgment from people. Uh, or these like assumptions. I, that's what I sense is that these assumptions are being made about me. That I'm like this really vain person that just all I care about is like looking a certain way and that I'm trapped in this toxic world of, you know, weightlifting or whatever. That is the energy that I get. And I find it hilarious because <laughs> I'm like, I'm not going to sit there and like explain it to somebody, uh, you know, randomly that I meet somewhere like that. But to me, if you're not taking care of your body, the greatest gift that we will ever be given ever. Your body is the only thing that you are actually in charge of, unless you have little kids. But in terms of a physical thing that is only yours and only you are the steward over, it's your body. That's it. That is the one physical thing that we actually own in this life. And my question for anybody just to get you thinking is how wise of a steward are you being over your own body? Because this is your universe that you are the God over. This, this, all of these systems, your cells, your immune system, your cardiovascular system, your lymphatic system, all of it, your gut microbiome, all of it is doing everything it can for you. And it's depend, also dependent on you. It's a, it's a interdependent relationship and it is dependent on us of how we're going to take care of it. And to me, lifting weights in this modern world that we live in, where we can literally sit on our ass 24 seven and do just fine maybe park in the closest parking spot to the grocery store and get some food that's just magically in this grocery store for us when you have to grow it or do any work in this day and age if you want your body to thrive you have to choose to put it through small bursts of intensity so that it can thrive we need small bursts of challenge we need small bursts of resistance if we really want to be optimal I don't know about you, but I don't want to be cruising around when I'm 70, 80 years old and I have so such little muscle mass that now all of my weight, gravity is making me depend on my, my joints, my tendons, my ligaments because I hardly have any muscle to help them out. So in terms of spirituality and lifting weights, like, yeah, it's just like, I know that my relationship with my body is different <laughs> than most people. And it's to me, I look at it as like mom love. Mom love is, of course, I'm going to rest when I need it. Of course, I'm going to give it what it needs, just like I would my kids. I'm going to give myself nutrients. I'm going to give myself rest and sleep. And when my kids want to go for it, my kid, I'm, I believe in them. I encourage them. I'm like, you got it. You got this. I'm and that's how I am with my body too. I challenge it in small amounts because I know that it is good for it. And to me, like, sorry, 
sorry guys, my phone is overheating because it's so freaking hot outside, so we'll see if I can finish this. But to me, like, if you're really, if, if you really are tapped in spiritually, your body is telling you what it needs all the time. And if you're really tapped into that, you're going to give your body what it needs. You're going to listen. You're going to make the hard changes. And for me, I hear that I, every, almost every day, sometimes I forget, but almost every single day in meditation, I start off by just feeling my body and just noticing. There's no thoughts. It's just noticing anything. And then if thoughts do come in, it's just, it, it, the only thoughts I ask, I, I thank my body for everything it's doing for me and ask it if there's anything it needs. And it is not uncommon for my body to be like, need to hit some intensity levels. <laughs> and so to me, like that is being spiritual. It is being tapped in. It is being a wise steward of your body to give it what it needs. And I'm telling you, I am extremely connected to my body and have a very loving relationship with my body. And my body, I know, thrives when it has some challenge. When it has some, you know, it, just, I mean, it doesn't have to come from a spiritual standpoint. We can look at this from a scientific standpoint, which is kind of the same thing as spirituality. But it's, yes, our body thrives when it has some stressors to help it adapt. We get hormesis. We get insulin sensitivity. We get growth hormone. We get BDNF, IGF-1. We get all of these benefits when we lift weights. Not to mention the neurotransmitter release that helps us with our mental health. Not to mention the gut health benefits of exercise. Not to mention we release endocannabinoids when we exercise. Anandamide, which is literally anandamide, is an endocannabinoid. Your body makes it itself a, a cannabinoid. Yes, like cannabis. And they called it anandamide from the Sanskrit word ananda, which means bliss. So they call it the bliss molecule. So all of those things I get every single time I go in and lift weights. And I am tapped in as hell when I'm in there. But I get this energy from like spiritual communities where it's kind of like, uh, it's like this kind of judgmental. It's this judgmental type vibe I get from people where it's like, mm, yeah, fitness. Mm, you must be like kind of lost in the ego. That's the vibe I get a lot. And I'm like, that's fucking bullshit. <laughs> Sorry, my language, but it is. It's just like, if you're neglecting your body and not giving what it, giving it what it needs, that's not conscious and our bodies do need, we need muscle <laughs> to thrive. And if you don't proactively go get it somehow in your life, you're just not going to have much. And I apologize. I'm not going to like respond to a lot of the comments cause I'm driving, but just that love is love. If you have love for your body, which you got to have love for your body, if it's going to thrive, love is pushing it sometimes in small doses and you recover hard like a mother. You go deep in your parasympathetic the rest of the day, chill, eat nutritious food, right? Get good sleep. But the, that small stimulus that I get in the mornings of pushing it a little bit is so freaking good for the body. And so I'm challenging this energy that I get from like spiritual people that I'm somehow like lost in my ego and like, you know, my I'm, 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 I'm locking pain into my body and all this stuff. I'm like, no, I'm not, dude. <laughs> <laughs> because because I tap into my body so often I would know I would know if my body is telling me please stop I listen and I'm just saying from somebody who spends a lot of freaking time tapping into her body having who has a loving relationship with her body I can tell you that lifting weights resistance training is really freaking good for our bodies it is not some vanity play. It is for a lot of people. It is a vanity play for a lot of people. I get that, you know, and I know that's part of the reason this stigma exists, but it's so much more than that. It's so much more than that. And if you get to a point in your personal growth journey where you can build a loving relationship with your body, which is a huge part of my coaching, anybody who's worked with me knows that <laughs> you don't do it anymore to look a certain way. It pains me when people, I'll just be real with you guys. It pains me when people say stuff like, I'm like, I want to look like you. I'm like, oh, fuck dude. Like, no, that's, that's, I, <laughs> I, I'm not doing it to look a certain way. I'm doing it because it helps my body thrive. And sure, if that inspires somebody to go help their body thrive, cool. 
but yeah. I don't know, I'm challenging. I'm challenging that from the spiritual community. So the other thing that I've just while I'm ranting, the other thing that bothers me is when spiritual people are always telling me to walk slower. I just gotta get this off my chest. I do walk slow and move slowly like around my house, but if I'm gonna be walking in stride, <laughs> this is like a PSA because I've gotten this so many times and it's kind of become like a thing that bothers me now. If you ask any trainer who understands physiology in the body, you don't want to be, when you're walking far, you don't want to be like slumping into your steps. That is not good for our bodies. You want to have some muscular engagement while you're what, like you're walking a far distance. That is why I, it's, I'm not trying to like be rush, rush, rush. I'm so busy. Gotta go. I'm just trying to have enough speed that my muscles are actually like actively engaging while I'm walking. <laughs> so that's another one that kind of bothers me. I'm like, dude, I, I appreciate the sentiments. I understand that it's good to be calm and good to be present and good to be in the parasympathetic, but I actually have reasons for walking with my muscles because I don't want to have hips that don't effing work when I'm 80 years old because I've been so busy, like slumping into my steps, trying to walk slow and be spiritual. <laughs> That's all. So a little rant from Tara on a Sunday. Taking care of your body is conscious. And in this day and age, lifting weights is one of the most accessible ways for us to get the resistance that our body needs so that the rest of our lives are easier because we're stronger. Part of the reason I have really good energy levels is because I consistently lift weights. So when you're stronger, everyday life is really freaking easy. I talk about this all the time. I apologize if you've heard me say it before, but like if you, if you can like kick ass in the gym, going up and down stairs and running errands and stuff like that is not going to exhaust you. So if you want better energy levels, you, you, you've got to get your body stronger. So the rest of life is easier. And I mean, yeah, there might be a few of you out there that you're like, I work on a ranch and I'm lifting heavy hay bales and carrying heavy crap all day or, you know, but that is definitely the minority of human beings, at least in the United States. So if you're life doesn't require you to do hard things physically, you must lift weights. It's either that or have suboptimal health in my opinion. So to me, it's, it's just self care. It's just appreciation of the body. It's just making sure that it can continue to move correctly and have strength and, and energy and vitality. So it's always funny, you know, we judge as human beings, but it's so funny, like when you're on the flip side of something and you can feel somebody judging you about something and you know that they don't have the awareness that you have in that area and you're just like, <laughs> yeah, so just thought I'd share. All right. That's my little off the cuff rant about the judgments on lifting weights. Not all of us are in there just trying to look a certain way. Some of us are in there just take, taking care of our bodies, you know, and that's conscious. All right. Th thanks, guys. Much love. Bye.